Tell me, does this sound at all familiar to you? You join a server, run to the road, collect the little stuff, and go to our post. And after only a few minutes inside, you have acquired a crossbow, and maybe even a nail gun. What if you instead could start out with 8 satchels and a reveal to back it up? With today's strategy, that is possible. You need to do one of the following. Trading in safety, repetitive smashing of barrels, or craft the horseshoe for the gambling lock. Whatever you decide, grab a drink, watch something meanwhile. You have little worries with the little investment each one chart post. With access to both the workbench and its tech tree, you really only need the gunpowder. And in outpost, it comes in the form of smoke grenades. From each smoke grenade you'll get 18 gunpowder and on top of that 25 metal fragments. So you'll have plenty of leftovers when you're done crafting. What this means is that each satchel only costs 70 scrap. And in total for only 535 scrap you can gain access to a 1x2 with an airlock. That's the theory, but how is it in practice? I joined 5 servers to find out. 4 of which had been running for quite a while and one that was only a couple days into wipe. I joined the server and got to work. I looked for outpost on the map and could see that water treatment was on the way, so that was my plan. I collected a bunch of stuff of water and made my way to outpost, after recycling everything. I went to the drone shop to check for a bean can and satchel, none of which were there. Since I had no blueprints on the server, I had to go through the entire tech tree. So I respawned on a back I had placed on the way there, so that I could keep collecting, and did just that. After returning and recycling, I went to the tech tree. After only 28 minutes of gameplay, I had the tech tree unlocked. I spawned outside again to collect more stuff, and then I had this encounter. Anyway, I went back to collecting more stuff. And soon thereafter, I was ready with the satchels in hand. I then spent way too much time trying to find a base above Outpost, with no success. I even lost the custom. I then went to the other side of Outpost to try my luck there. This time, I did have the satchels on me. So I moved on to the next server. On this server, I started out the exact same way. Went to water, then to outpost, I then tried to trade the auto turret for a satchel, but no takers. I then went to the reel, threw everything in, and lost. Back to the room. After a couple unfortunate events, I had luck shine on me. Spawned in on my back I had placed earlier, and, and there it was. An air drop bit on satchel. And since I had found a bean can early on, this would be perfect. I again spawned outside, and even though I died a couple times, I did eventually make it back to outpost. Threw everything on the wheel, and I lost. Back to the road. When I returned, I had enough to research both. Then I threw the remaining on the wheel, and I lost. Determined to win, I traded in all my high quality metal for scrap, and went to this blackjack table, which didn't go too well. The next time I returned, I'd collected a lot more than previously. So I was ready to start recycling smoke grenades and craft satchels. Searching for a base, I found this one. It had code locks and it was two doors on this for TC. You can see the door frame for the roof. Look for the dark spot just where the connection of the walls are. This is one of two methods of checking, the other I will be using later on. Since I researched the satchels with the research table, I did not have access to the fire to destroy the TC. So I had crafted an extra satchel for this exact reason. The loot was pretty solid, but sadly there was no workbench. All in all, pretty solid gains for watching a movie and chilling out most. Next server was seriously a grind. Almost 4 hours of gameplay and multiple losses and on the wheel and... Wait, no what? File corrupted. What? 4 hours and I can't even show you? <coughs> oh. No. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, I still had the footage from when I was almost ready. After recycling and crafting everything I needed, I headed out to find a suitable place. After this, I went to bed, and woke up the next morning and joined the server, where I had already acquired the blueprints necessary. Quick trip to water treatment and then to outpost. When I was done recycling, I checked the shop and found this cheap fertilizer, so that was the plans for this one. Ten minutes of trading and crafting later, I was ready to go find a target base. I found this one by two and jumped to the roof to check the stability. If stability is less than 87%, it does not have a door in the middle. And if it's 87 or more, it does have one. Pretty 
doesn't do it, but again, no workbench. On to the next one. Overall, I think this method is quite decent. I could have probably done some things differently to ensure better ops of survival, and I should probably not have had all the resources on me when going to raid. In terms of positives, the skill level required is very low, the attention required is low, and if you fail, you can try again, no problem. And some negatives, it's inconsistent and you have no idea what to expect. It can take a while if you do not have the blueprints. But if you do have the blueprints prior, I think this is a solid way of starting your wipe. That's it for this time. Next time, we'll be trying the instant oil ring strat. Don't miss out.